in the aviation world, you know, if, if, when you're flying people around, obviously sometimes we tell them what your other job is, they're like, you do what? I guess it's kind of the same, you know, when you're in the DJ world where you tell people you're a pilot, you're also like, you know, you do what? So I try to keep them as separate as I can, but it doesn't always work out like that. I mean, you guys are interviewing me right now, so it's kind of hard to keep them separate. All right, you just want to start from the top. Uh, I'm a DJ. I'm one fourth of Get Cryfy, and also the tour DJ for Brother Ali and Mally. And then my other life would be I am a charter pilot. Both of them aren't easy jobs, uh, but I wouldn't say one is more difficult than the other. They're just—it's just a different job. You know, it's just a different type of work. The DJing world and the flying world are, are way different. One is, you know, you're, you show up in, in your, your, your flying attire and, you know, everything is very strict on what you're doing. And then, obviously, the DJing world is usually just a one big party, you know. So, yeah, they kind of are a little bit different, yeah. Which kind of keeps me more on my toes because, you know, I'm not doing the same thing every single day. You know, in the music industry, uh, sometimes you're really busy and sometimes you're really slow. And so uh, flying kind of allows me to pick up those when you're in those lulls. I don't want to necessarily be out trying to pick up multiple gigs every week. I, just, I don't want to do that at this point uh, in my career. And the flying allows me to just kind of pick and choose what I want to do. And then over here, these are our flight gauges. So we have an airspeed indicator, attitude indicator, Altimeter, and you could see it as vice versa, you know, flying, I don't do it six to seven days a week or five days a week, you know, I'm doing it only a couple of times a week, and so the DJing helps pick up, you know, when flying slow as well. So I don't DJ at night and then go fly in the morning, that doesn't actually work like that. <laughs> I don't think, uh, I don't think anybody would like that too much. Well, I mean, you're flying, you know, you're working with your hands, and DJing, you're working with your hands. For DJing, you have to know the type of, of club that you're playing in, so you have to know the crowd, you have to read the crowd. Whereas in, a, in aviation, you just have to be aware of your surroundings at all times. I used to go to shows when I was younger, and I used to think the most interesting part was DJing. So I, uh, I bought a couple turntables and a mixer and kind of just taught myself to DJ. Sometimes you're playing in front of 100 people, sometimes you're playing in front of 10,000 people. The rush that you get from doing that is still there. You know, still there from the first show that I did when I was younger to at this point in time now. I started flying when I was 17. Uh, I had the opportunity to get my pilot's license, and so I did it. And I, you know, I liked flying, so I just kept doing it. I think it's kind of the, the, the freedom of being in the air. It's corn, kind of corny, because I think everybody probably says the same thing, but there is kind of a weird freedom of flying, like, you know, you're not on the ground anymore. You're in control of something that's in the air. I could do one of them full time at this point in time, but I still choose to do both because I like doing both. So yeah, I think if I ever stopped doing one, I would I would miss the other one. Which kind of sounds strange, like you know, you'd be like, I want to be on tour all the time, but uh, I do like flying, and, and to stay flying, that means I have to be home for a good portion of the year. I feel at home doing both. You know, it, it took a lot of work, but I'm also, I know that what I get to do is, is very lucky. The fact that I get to do both of them is really lucky.
My DJ name is Last Word. And I, I got, you know, when you're a kid, you have to come up with a DJ name. That was, you know, I was, you know, kind of a, a smart ass, or I always wanted to get the last word in, in, in an argument, so that's kind of where that came from. Do you have a pilot name? <laughs> yeah, Drew Erickson. <laughs> Pretty boring. <laughs>